Brian Particelli, 25.com. Hi, Jamie. How you doing? Hi, Brian. You, you win best background, definitely. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> um, I got to say, I'm halfway through the series now. Can't wait to see where it ends. So congrats on it. But it, from what I've seen so far, you really get to do a little bit of everything. You know, it starts with an, uh, this action sequence. There's a lot of dark comedy. It's a thriller overall. Just was that part of the appeal? And is there something you dabbled in here that you'd love to do more of going forward? 100% that was part of the appeal, you know, like, it, it's not often you read a script that has all of that in it, you know, yeah. and in, in equal measure, you know, and it's, it's sort of undefinable for that reason, like, you can't go, it's very hard to pin a genre on this, almost, you know, it is yeah. kind of all over the place, but I think that is what's so intriguing about it, what was so intriguing for me to read when I read the scripts, but also really exciting and intriguing for an audience. And I do think it keeps you guessing the entire time and that playing tonally with the darkness of it and the comedy of it. And it's not often you get all that packed into one script, six scripts, whatever. So, um, yeah, that was a big, that was a big appeal appeal for me. Yeah. And do you think, especially, you know, there's this big chase sequence, the action sequence at the top, is that something you'd love to do more of? Cause it suits you. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was tough. We we luckily had a lot of time for it and kept coming back to it. Just when you thought we'd covered it, I'd hear that like second unit were going out to do a little more drone stuff on that car chase. I was like, Jesus, I mean, this is going to be a proper piece of, you know, of film this, you know, um, there's obvious nods. We're not hiding the fact there's nods to Steven Spielberg's jewel at the beginning. And it's a yeah. sign of respect more than anything else that we're, we're taking so much of that. But um, it drops you in in a big way into this 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 world of the outback and the how sort of desolate and big it is and and uh, I, I I really enjoyed that aspect of it. It, it was tough and um, you yeah, know I've done a bit of action stuff before. I've done three war movies. I've yeah. I've been in it before. <laughs> but, um, and the next thing I'm about to do now has a load of a load of action in it. So yeah, it's it, it's like a different facet of the whole thing for me. Yeah. It's, uh, it's 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 a scratch that I like to itch. Maybe not for every job I do, but definitely uh, when I can. Yeah. And, you know, ultimately, this is a show about a man who's trying to figure out who he is, whether his past choices define him, who he'd like to be going forward, just for you from a career perspective. Have you ever had a moment where you were kind of at a crossroads like that, where you were trying to maybe do something different from what you've done in the past? And how hard is it to kind of break free of that mold, I guess? I think I'm always trying to do that. You know, I think... yeah years is if you're lucky enough to have uh a, 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 any career in this industry but hopefully a long one you want to constantly be um challenging yourself and and mixing it up and offering people something new you know it's like why i said in the last answer of like how you know i like to do action but not every film you know i, I want to yeah. continue to mix it up and and change people's understand their expectation of what I'm what I'm going to do as an actor. And I've been lucky so far that I've got the opportunity to offer up different stuff. Even in the last year and a half, of yeah. put a lot of stuff out there, and and I, that'll continue. I think based on what it looks like I'm doing next and and beyond <laughs> that. Um, so that's that's a cool that's a cool part of it. It's a privilege to yeah. to that crossroads. It's a privilege to go to even have anyone have any. A idea who you are, B opinion on you. You know, I mean, all of that means that you're putting stuff out there and you're working, which isn't a guarantee when you choose to be an actor for a living. So, yeah, I'm grateful for all of that. And you know, lastly, I want to say congrats for Belfast getting so much Oscar love this year. I'm curious for you though, how you feel about the the fan favorite category coming up this year, and do you feel like maybe you were robbed that they didn't have it last year? Because I think. Edgar's prayer would have been in the running if not had won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. We're, we're, I mean, I wonder could they try to mix up the, the numbers a little bit and see if we could creep it in. The next <laughs> Sneak <year>. in. Yeah, <laughs> I, do think it's great thing. I think it's a great thing for the Oscars going forward that they have that. Truly, I've got to say that. I think it's, it's brilliant. Um, but um, yeah, we, we've come, we've come, Edgar's, Edgar's prayer was just, was just too, too early. Because Jesus, I know there's a lot of love. The amount of people that want to talk to me about that is so <laughs> brilliant. Because I could talk about it endlessly and about how mad it is. And um, yeah, we'll. Uh, I'll have to do. So hopefully, they make more Barb and Star movies, and and we can offer up something else. <laughs> well, fingers crossed. 
Thank you for your time today and have a good one. Cheers, Brian. Thank you. Bye.